last year. Uh, we did run the ball out of it. We we didn't run it very well, but we did call runs. And, and uh, you know, one thing I used to tell our, our staff last year is we're going to run the ball out of shot. Let's make sure we have our second long calls ready to go because we weren't very good with it. But uh, we did throw the ball well out of it. Um, but I do think it'll take him him some time and some reps to, to get used to some of the things we're doing out of it now and, and making sure he's at the right mesh point and, and understanding where exactly the running back's going to be. So uh, him missing the 15 practices in spring ball is something he has to make up. You know, we have to give him a, a lot of reps. He's going to have to concentrate on the footwork. The good thing about Ryan is he, he's a very quick learner, you know, and, and He's played under the center. He's played in shotgun. Uh, most of the time when we put a run play in, it takes him three reps, and he's got it down where the mesh point is. He's a great ball handler, uh, does an excellent job with his faking and, and carrying out his fakes and the play action game. So I don't think it'll take him a long time to, to pick it up. Well, like Coach said, he's just going to need more reps to get himself in condition. You know, a lot of these guys have been running, and they're in, you know, top condition right now. So we got to get him in shape, um, get his timing back, and just get him back in rhythm. Um, and he'll get the reps that he needs in camp. Are you expecting him to first practice be full speed running? I expect him to be out there the first day ready to roll. Yeah, he should be full speed by then. You know, he's, he's doing some controlled situation running now where – you know, we're on a treadmill, and you reduce the amount of weight that's on there. By Monday, he should increase that, and, and uh, by Tuesday, he should be running full speed. But we do have to be a little bit cautious as we get started just because you don't want to throw him out there and do too much too early. But uh, we do expect it to be um, healed, ready to go. All the reports from the doctors have been great. Thumbs up. We're right where we need to be. And uh, they're really excited about it, as well as I am. Coach, other players that say Tenarius right, some others that you didn't have, how are they? Tenarius is doing great. He's had a very, very good summer. You know, the, the interesting thing about Tenarius is a year ago, when he went through the summer, he was trying to keep his weight down and trying to convince the head coach that he was a linebacker and wanted to, you know, and we gave him a shot at middle linebacker. What's interesting is some of the video I went back and watched of our early practices last year. He did pretty well at linebacker, but uh, you know he can really rush off the edge. His ability to pass rush, he gives us a different gear, um, but he's bigger and stronger now. So I'm excited to see how how he does. It it was unfortunate he didn't get to go through spring ball too. Oh, Niles doing great. You know, Niles was a, a situation much like London and, and uh, Lucas. Lucas last year where they went in, put the plate in. Uh, what that allows you to do is continue to condition your legs and, and you don't lose any shape or anything there. Um, it healed fast, and he, he was ready to go by the time we started our summer program. You know, I guess a couple of the young Sun guys that I'm excited to see how they practice from the reports is Alfred Davis at, at uh, our nose. You know, he's a guy that came in um, late his, his freshman year, obviously needed to drop some weight and shift it around, get his body percent uh, fat down. And, um, you know, they tell me he's running better than he ever has. We're going to be real excited about seeing him. Um, I think the other guys that, that we have going from the reports are some of the freshmen that we're excited about, Chris Smith, Byron Jones, um, guys that, that kind of stepped in and didn't miss a beat, you know, moved up working with the vets quicker than guys we've had in the past. Bill Robinson, in your eyes, how will the defense do better this year? We're very excited about it. We've added more depth in our defensive front. Uh, we lost some guys, but we feel like the guys we're replacing them with are experienced guys. And then the thing their backups are is a very talented group of young kids, you know, Byron Jones and Chris Smith. So we, we can't wait to get rolling in the defensive front. You know, we have experience at the, at the linebacker position. Um, in the secondary, we've grown up, you know, and I, they've really worked hard. And 
like Coach saying, and talking with our strength staff, it's not only the physical aspect of it, but the leadership part of it. They worked extremely hard, and they've worked hard all summer. We're excited about getting our defense on the field. Coach was saying how they're going to, the first four days will be a little different this year. Will that, do you like that? Oh, yeah. I mean, we think it's a great idea, you know, because the thing is, is obviously it's probably just as important for the vets so that they're getting lots of reps, but to bring on the development of these freshmen and these newcomers where they have been kind of buried in the depth chart, you can kind of get them exposed. But we're excited about it. I think Coach's biggest concern is if our older guys on the staff can survive the practices. Some of our older coaches, you know, we got to make sure they hydrate right. <laughs> Might have to um, take care of them going because we haven't went two a days for a long time. Now, actually, we'll be out on the field. You know, it'll probably be easier on them because what we used to do is bring the freshmen out early, practice for a while, then bring the vets out and join them. So, you know, you're actually out there for three hours at one straight time. Right now, we're, pra we're planning on going 18 periods with each group, which would be an hour and a half with each group, but separating it like two a days. Derek, uh, you talking about the challenges incorporating, finding new skill guys, playmakers, when you have a, a roster that's already got a returning quarterback, running backs, receivers that have already proven yourself, the challenge of finding other guys that you feel like well, you know, our practice pace is what helps with that. Man, we practice really fast. Everybody gets a lot of reps. Uh, we evaluate all the video, individual periods, group periods, team periods. Um, so we spend a lot of time, um, you know, watching everything that's going to happen on the practice field. We feel like our practice space is an advantage for us, so everybody gets a lot of reps at practice. And I think they're going to come on fast. Uh, based on, you know, what our strength and condition coaches say, these guys are strong, they're fast, they're really competitive, um, and, and they want to push these older guys that we have on our team. Coach Trino, the mild No, we, we, we try to take care of that pretty well. We'll do a good job of hydrating. We always take a break during practice, at least one. Um, sometimes if the heat index is, is high enough, then our trainers, we, we take two. We go under, get underneath the tents, have the, the um, misters going and, and cool the body temperature down and then go back out. And, and I like that because I think it, it uh, gives you a little half time and then see how we finish practice. You're always talking about being stronger in the third quarter and the fourth quarter, and this is actually a way to, to practice that. But, you know, we, we have to make sure we do things right as far as uh, drinking enough uh, fluids, making sure they, you know, we weigh them in before practice, weigh them out after practice. Um, if a young man hasn't gained enough weight back, he has to sit out you know, the second practice when we do have two a days. So it's something that, you know, we've learned through the years to monitor real well, but you certainly when it is hot and humid, um, you know, I, I think it'll be good for us because a year ago what you worried about, it was so mild in August, and then the, the game week was the first time it was real hot and humid and, and feel like, is that going to drain you? So it, I think it'll be good. Coach, you got that running back depth last year. I think it's going to be fun to see how it plays out. You know, if you, if you took all four of them, put them in a different room, and went and asked them, they would, I would imagine, would all say they were going to be the guy. And uh, so it'll be very competitive, but they do that on a, on a very positive way. You know, they, they learn together, they cheer each other on when they're not in there. Um, so the chemistry with the four guys is very good. But all four of them want to be the main guy. They want to be the guy that carries the ball, gets the start. And I think that only makes everybody better. Well, yeah, I noticed the first guy there wasn't a depth chart. Um, we haven't seen depth charts since, I guess, the first spring. Is that an indication of how to go up to Grant? Or why no depth chart? Are we not paying you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, you know, I don't know. We didn't put a depth chart in the, in the press guide. Last question. <laughs> okay, so that, that, that doesn't have some type, that's not a psychological thing or something? Not really. You know, we, we do a depth chart. Maybe we didn't want to share it with y'all. Uh, I'm just kidding. I, I mean, if, if we didn't put one in there, it wasn't by design. Um, I'm not big on depth charts, just uh, for one thing. 
I think it's a, it's a starting point. Obviously, we have to do it, but everybody on the team needs to understand that, you know, if I'm with the ones, I get an opportunity to go out and keep my job. If I'm with the twos, I get an opportunity to go out every day and take the guy in, in front of me's job. And I think that's why when you sit up here right now, it, there is a lot of excitement and a lot of energy because it's going to be very competitive. And uh, we got we finally have depth where, you know, we got seven or eight guys on the offensive front that all believe they can start. Um, that makes everybody better. And obviously it, it helps you as the long season that you have go on because we know that different guys will have to start throughout the year. Are you and Coach Smith pretty excited to be able to work with some new guys with special teams and on your kicker and get to see how they, they do here? Oh, most definitely. I, you know, it's the first time since I've been here that we've had competition, that we've had two kickers that will go out and compete for the for the job two or three punters that can go out there and, and compete for the job so again that's going to make each one of them work hard it's going to improve and uh, you know I'm also excited the fact that we have most of our cover guys back you know I think that's the fun thing when we meet as on oh, special teams throughout the last two weeks we're throwing on the video and and almost everybody on that video is back and experienced and you know you do get better you know you do get better with experience there's no question about it will you do more live kicking this, this uh, because of the competition i think we will as far as the punt returns go you know that's a big that's our biggest question is who's going to be that punt returner how's he going to run in traffic how's he going to catch the ball in traffic so that's the one area where we would change and, and do m more live things you know, we always kick with some, some live rush on our PAT field goals. Uh, you just can't do it every single time or the offensive linemen get very upset. You know, that, that's not one of the funnest things in life is to be an offensive lineman on PAT field goal and you have to step down, put your inside forearm up, your outside hand up, and let the guy across from you tee off on you. So we do a number of live ones each day, but, but you do monitor that. Yeah, there'll be some guys, and that, that's another reason when we split the practices, it'll be great for us because we'll, we'll get to see those guys catch the ball and, and you know, all eyes are on them. They're not sharing reps. Um, but that is, you know, I think when you look at special teams, who is our punt returner going to be? It's open competition. Someone's got to go in and take it. Well, kind of. It was more of a family. We had the family up to the lake and, and just had some fun. We didn't go somewhere and, and uh, you know, just talk football. We we were able to, we came back a little bit earlier this year than, than normal, and we've had a lot of time to really spend it, you know, knowing what we want to do offense, defensively, how we want to match, match it together for practices and spend a lot of time on our special team. So it's been good. Eric, what kind of summer? You know, the summer, you know, we're not allowed to know about what's going on. So I can just go off what um, Jason says to us. And Tyler's bigger. Um, you know, he seems a lot more confident. Um, Brandon Mitchell, I saw him in the hallway um, a couple of days ago. He's bigger. His body really, you know, he's a really good athlete, but his body really looks good. Um, his arms are, you know, he finally thinks he's rocked up is what he would say. Um, so Jason says they're both doing really well, confident, and they're ready to go. We expect a ton of carryover. Um, if we did anything this summer and, and uh, the spring as we looked at the things we did well, and that's where we came back. And like Coach was saying, is trying to put the things together and do the things that we do well and just they have a great understanding of it and find out what defenses that we played fast were. And, and that's really the structure of our defensive package. And, and uh, we've got a lot of kids back. They have a lot of experience in, you know, how fast can they pick up the mental part of it will be we'll have to wait and see on the first practice but we our expectations of it are great thank you